Hello friends, Misha here. Welcome back to Animal Crossing GameCube here in the town of Iboshi. It has been some time since we have been here. Unfortunately, I did have to take last week off, but I did do an extra Dreamtown video, so if you missed those, uh, they will be in my Dreamtown playlist and linked at the end of this video. But for now, we are going to, oh goodness, get back into town here. I do regret to inform you that Mitzi has moved away. She she moved away a couple days ago whenever I was playing and Crazy Red is here today. I wanted to play today because it was the Harvest Moon Festival. It's the uh, full moon in September closest to the autumnal equinox so that is today uh, both in real life and in the game as well. And then this is from my mom, my dear Misha. I was sort of dozing in front of the TV and someone on the soap Opera cried out, Mom, and I leaped up yelling, What's wrong? I thought it was you. I must have been tired from Mom. And this is from Tom Nook. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have the Nookway store. Oh my goodness. What a day. What a day this is. Oh yeah, so that was just the letter telling us that it was going to be closed uh, for renovations. I knew it had to be coming up soon. I knew the store renovation had to be coming up soon. Now, I am confused. Okay, so Crazy Red is here. We'll have to go find him. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm confused on how we can see the moon if it's thunder... Or I guess it's not thunderstorming, but it is raining. But yeah, today is 100% the Harvest Moon Festival. Let me see if the bulletin board says anything. Fall Sports Fair... What? I didn't know this was a thing. Are you kidding? Oh, I'm so mad I missed this. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. <laughs> I was not even paying attention. I was too uh, focused on the harvest moon. Pleasant stretch of Indian summer in October should cheer you all up. Huh. Okay. Well, yeah, today should be the harvest moon. Let me see... I think the wiki said something about staring in the moon's reflection in the pond? But if it's if it's raining, then how's that going to happen? Okay, well, we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. But first, let's go see our newly renovated Nook store. Maybe it just has to be later in the evening. It is 7.11 p.m. The, the, the moon should be out by now. Hmm... Oh, hello. Little, little, little sheepy cashmere playing with her soccer ball. Good eve, baby. Didn't see you around this afternoon, did I? Were you curled up in a ball in your house because of the rain? I don't care how bad the weather might be. I expect you to come and visit me, and that's that. Okay. Well, hate to disappoint you, but I don't really have any apolo or any, any apologies, any favors to ask of you. That is a-okay, because we have the Nookway store to go to. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my goodness, it's so bright. How many times am I going to say, oh my goodness, I don't know. <gasps> you can buy a new house or a new roof color now. Oh, and look at... Oh, and it's new music, too. New music. Four pieces of furniture. Is this clock on the wall something that I can buy? No, okay. I didn't think I could put anything on the wall in this uh, in this game. And then two carpets, two, two uh, wallpapers. I can't talk. What is this? Oh, somebody. Yeah, I remember somebody telling me about this. this that's a signboard. The price is 500 bells. It's a steal at that price, so... Uh, you can, like, put this around town and put custom designs on it. Cool. And then is this just a new journal where you can, like, save in your house? You can just get, get different designs. And then, yeah, red roof color, four flowers over there. We have both cedar and regular tree saplings. And then three shirts. wow e. Wow, 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 wow. So I don't think I want any of the furniture items in here but I will go ahead and buy the flowers we can plant them around town tonight mm. 
And, oh, we do have a new villager to greet. We uh, got at least one new villager to move in. I haven't checked the map in a couple of days. Yeah, I played, I played two days ago. And we had one new villager, so maybe we even have another new one. But no, we should have been at capacity for how many villagers we could have. Oh, my uh, my pockets were full. I didn't even notice him saying that. Oh yeah, I did catch a bell cricket to give to uh, to give to Blathers. Oh, and I had a couple pieces of furniture and that song to put in my house. Okay, you know what? Let's go take care of all this. Go go back home. I do think we have a villager on this side. Yeah, Hazel. Hazel is the new villager. And then everybody else should be... Yeah, should be used to. And then we need to go talk to uh, Copper down here to see what acre Red has plopped his tent in. I wonder how long Red is here for. Because it said he would appear at 6 p.m., but I don't know how long he stays around. And here is Cutie Pie Hazel. Oh, she's going inside. Okay, we couldn't stop her. <laughs> Just went inside right as we were uh, trying to introduce ourselves, but it's okay. Oh, what a cute little homey house she has. Hello. Good evening. And unless I'm mistaken, pleased to meet you. I'm Hazel. Misha, I like that nutmeg. You know, call me crazy, but I get the feeling you and I are going to be good friends, Nutmeg. Aw, I love Hazel. It's already 7 p.m., huh? So you must have had some reason for coming to see me. You know about the harvest moon, don't you? It's the full moon closest to the autumnal equinox. Yeah, this year it's on September 24th. Yeah, that's... that's today. Right? Am I crazy? Hold on, let me go bring up the date. Did I mistakenly load up the wrong day? No, we're definitely on the right day. Maybe it just has to be later in the evening. Okay. We'll, 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 we'll figure it out. Um, oh, let's pull this weed. Oh wait, I wanted to go back to my house. Okay, first things first. Let's go back to my house because I'm going to need some spaces in my pockets if I run into uh, any like event items or any villagers that want to give me stuff. So we'll go back up to the house, and then after this, we will go see Copper, go to the fountain, see if anybody's hanging out down there. And maybe go back to Nook's store, because, um... Nope, that's not what I meant to bring up this. I do have four sets. I have four sets of, uh, <laughs> raffle tickets for this month. So I do want to- oh boy. I do want to get a couple more... Maybe, oh goodness. Oh yeah, I didn't want to try to pick it. <laughs> I didn't want to pick it up. I just wanted to run over the cockroaches. <laughs> I keep pressing the run button and it keeps thinking I'm trying to pick something up. Okay, good enough. Um, so everything that I want to put in my house, I think I want to put downstairs. The basement, I've told you guys, I want to be just a... Uh, Oh shoot, what was- oh wait, there it was. Got it. Got it, Normie. The basement I wanted to be kind of like a gaming basement, a maybe a laundry room sort of deal. Oh my gosh, these cockroaches. This is such a big room for these cockroaches to be in. Ah, no, come here. There we go, there we go. So we will fill this space up eventually. I do have, yes, this blue bench that I wanted to put down here. It's not like, you know, perfect or anything, but it's something to sit on. Wow, I literally just put it down and there's already a cockroach. Does that mean that there was a cockroach in my pockets with the blue bench? Or that it just that quickly ran under the blue bench when I sat it down? I don't know. Let's see, what else do we have? We also have... Oh yeah, this classic cabinet. I bought this last time I was playing. I thought that looked really nice. That actually might be something I want to put upstairs in the in the main room. Oh yeah, and another phonograph for down here so we can play... 
play some tunes. I think I am gonna take this Tower of Pisa up. It's a funny little thing to have sitting out, but it's not something I want for forever. Okay, so here's this. And then I want to, yeah, pop in a tune. KK Bossa. And then, oh, okay, it's already playing it. I didn't even realize, yes. And what flowers did we get here? Yellow pansies, yellow tulips. Um, maybe let's put some yellow tulips out here. Can I still, can I do that in this game? Like set, no, it won't actually set them as, as potted plants out in your house. That's a bummer. Just puts the little bag down. Oh well, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna keep in mind that I have this classic cabinet and that cabana bookcase down here. Let's kind of go upstairs and see if we would, oh my God, I keep doing that. Okay, there we go. Keep going upstairs and then immediately going back downstairs. I mean, if I expanded this room at all, maybe I would put that classic cabinet up here, but I really do like that ranch, um, I don't even know what it's called. Ranch dresser? Wardrobe? Wardrobe, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, so I just, I'm very happy with this room. I want to keep it, keep it as is. Okay, I want to put some of these raffle tickets just in these envelopes over here just to free up some space. Oh, we can also go give this cricket to Blathers and we can plant these flowers out and about. We got some pansies. Those can go. Oh, we should have planted those pansies in front of Hazel's house to welcome her to town. Yeah, let's go do that. There's a lot going on today. A lot going on. Hi, Freckles. Hello, Gwen. Yeah, Hazel's house was, yes, right here. Oh, and I think these pansies will look really nice in front of her abode here. Purple pansies and doo -doo -doo, yellow pansies. Yep, perfect, super cute. And then why not plant some yellow tulips down here right on this cliff. Add a little touch, add a little nice touch to it. Okay, so now we are headed to whatever we run into first. Maybe the museum, maybe the um, fountain. Depends on what direction I press. Who knows? Got lots of weeds here. I pulled so many weeds the other day whenever I was playing. And I know I still have that pitfall seed over there and that <laughs> in that overgrowth. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay. So up here, let's talk to Copper, see what he says about the goings on in town today. Okay. Crazy Red is an acre C4. May offer my opinion. I'd be a little suspicious of anything I found on the paws of that individual. So C4, which is right here. Okay, so the acre with that ramp. Perfect. And okay, before we talk to him again, I don't know if he'll tell us anything else. Yeah, there's no one. Oh, there's Teddy. Hi, Teddy. But there, it doesn't look like there's like an, a, an event happening down here. So maybe the harvest moon doesn't come out for till a little later. The rain's sort of a downer, but it's so good for the trees and flowers and grass and mushrooms. What can I do for you, Misha? Oh yeah, I got a little job. Check this out. I lent a picture book to Otis the other day. Nickname Dandruff, because Otis all about flaking. Thing is, I'm too busy to get my property. So can you go pick it up for me? Yeah, consider it done, Teddy Bear. Consider it done. Hmm. Alright, so Harvest Moon must be later. 
let's go see if there's anything in the lost and found. Then we'll go to the museum. Hi, Booker. God, Booker's so cute. I love him. This furniture item is a merge sign. Nope, that's not mine. You can keep that. That seems like that would probably belong to, like, the city or something there, Booker. Probably not something that an individual would own, but, you know. You keep it in the lost and found, buddy. You keep doing you. Alright, Blathers. Let me hit you with this nice bell cricket I found. Oh, he is so awake, ready for the night, ready for the harvest moon. He is living. Let's see what I'll have to say about this here bell cricket. I don't think I've caught a, a cricket before. Ah, who? Yes, indeed. That's a bell cricket, if I'm not utterly mistaken. No, no, that's not necessary. Uh huh, don't take it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Leave it in the container. Protocols. I have to say that I'm not overly fond of. Yeah, I know this. I know this. I know this. I know this. I actually find their voices quite soothing on an autumn evening when their cries fill the air. Delightful. Their appearance, however, is not in the least bit engaging and actually borders on repugnant. As for myself, I find them no better than cockroaches. Bleh. Vile. Vile indeed. Truly, dirtily vile. Wow. Okay, Blathers, we get it. Your prejudice against insects. I understand. Thanks for taking them into your care regardless. Oh. <sighs> What an owl that blathers. Okay, guys, here is what we're going to do. We are going to take a quick nap, and we're going to come back in an hour or two. Hopefully this rain has subsided and the Harvest Moon Festival has begun, and uh, we'll see what we see. Oh, just kidding. Before we take our nap, let's see Crazy Red. No, let's not hit his tent with our bug net. What do we have here? A customer, don't be shy. Come on in. Tell me, friend, did you see, see Crazy Red's crazy flyer? Is that what brings you through my door today? That's it, isn't it? It must be. I knew it. You'll be happy to hear today's your lucky day. I have a selection of fine merchandise. To be perfectly honest, an opportunity like this doesn't come along every day. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? Chewing your ears off like this. My apologies. Come on in. Take a look around. Please see for yourself. Crazy Red's got the goods. Come on, come on. Hee hee hee. I still think it's so hilarious that they put Black Market on his tent and then crossed it off. Oh my goodness, is that what I think it is back there? Oh my, this is a- oh, it's Balloon Fight. Okay, so it's not like a whole Nintendo Entertainment System with multiple games on it. It's, it's one particular game. So how do I- do I have to have, like, the video game console, like, the, the item of the NES to put in my home to put this game on? Or does this just automatically enable me to play it? God, that is so expensive. But, I mean, I've been using the bell cheats, so, like, who cares? Oh, I was gonna see if you, if you would kind of, like, lower the price for me if I said no. Oh, I gotta buy it. I gotta see what this is about. Satisfaction guaranteed with that purchase right up until you exit the door, is that what it said? I'll be back with more rare and unique items. Hope to do business with you again. Well, thanks, my dude. Really weird items, like, at the front of the tip, though, outside of the ones that you can buy. Very interesting. I do kind of like this blue cabinet as well, but... Not enough. Not enough to spend crazy reds, crazy prices on it. So I think we will check out Balloon Fight uh, in the next episode since I do really want to figure out what's up with this Harvest Moon. So let's come back whenever the moon is out. Oh, hi guys. So, ended up sleeping until tomorrow. It is now Tuesday and now it is the Harvest Moon. Was I just completely blind? Did Hazel say the 25th? And I just thought she said the 24th? I have no idea, but I ended up looking on the wiki, and the wiki listed the Harvest Moon Festival as the 25th instead of the 24th, so I was like, well, might as well try again tomorrow, and here we are. It is Harvest Moon time, and you guys, I didn't even mention yesterday, but the grass has changed color. It's a much lighter, um, brighter type of green. The grass, the trees are all all different now for the new new fall season and I love it. I can't wait for it to get even more like faded and orange and brown before the uh, 
before the snow comes for winter. But for the moon viewing, oh my god, that bug just jumped right into the river. The moon viewing, oh look, there it is. There it is in the water down there. And here we have one of our villagers looking up at the sky. Watching the moon makes me restless, Pipsqueak. I think I feel, I think I feel hairier. You feel hairier from looking at the moon. Okay. Let's go see. Uh, I think Tortimer is just going to be walking around the town somewhere. Maybe close to where we can see the moon up here. Yeah, up here's Tortimer. Yeah, I don't know what... Oh, this music is so nice. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I don't know how I thought it was yesterday. I just don't know. Okay, well, that's uh, that's really pretty. Okay, let's see what Tortimer has to say. Misha, tonight is the night of the harvest moon. It's a big, bright, full moon that signifies the season for harvesting the crops. I love this time of year. It means the harvest festival is coming. Sprout, huzzah! I know, I'll give you a little something to commemorate this year's harvest moon sprout. It's the moon. Isn't it nice? Oh, yepper. You're pretty darn lucky. Wish I had one of those. Then I'd always be bathed in sweet, sweet moonlight. He gave us a moon? Well, we will have to go look at that after we uh, stare at this beautiful moon reflection some more. I'm trying to get it to where the time is off for a few seconds there for a, a nice, nice crispy screenshot there for the thumbnail. Now let's see what Stella says. Looking at the moon, feeling the cool autumn air, it's so soothing. Bada bing. <laughs> Everyone in town is out for the moon viewing, but we all have our own special way of taking part. What are the different ways of taking part other than just staring up at the moon? Lay was the one who invited me. I didn't even want to come. Aww. Lay and, uh, and Otis down here hanging out. I'd be enjoying this more if- er, not Otis. Wow, sorry. Otis is a bird. Limburg. Literally, it was just on the screen in front of me. If Limburg weren't sitting next to- wait. Lay, you invited Limburg, and now you're saying that you would be enjoying this more if Limburg wasn't here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, friend pal. Let's see, I wonder, is everybody else along the river somewhere? Are they just somewhere else randomly in town? I love the music that's playing right now. Um, let's see if we can see anybody else staring up at the moon. Oh, here's Freckles. Freckles is not staring up at the moon, but she's out here. Watch it, Speedy. If I didn't have, like, lightning quick reflexes, I would have wailed into you. Wailed? Did that say wailed? It's Misha. Be more careful from now on. Okay, Ducky? Did you want something? Did you know? Uh-huh, uh-huh. The guy's eyebrows are so thick. It's like somebody drew them on with a... Oops. Never mind. I was just thinking out loud. <laughs> Wait, was that supposed to be a reveal that... K.K. Slider's eyebrows were drawn on with Sharpie? Or was she just embarrassed that she was, like, speculating about his eyebrows? I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm so glad we figured out when the Harvest Moon was. This is really cute. Everybody out staring at the moon. And yeah, in this game, you can't see the sky at all, which is a bit of a bummer. I wish you could change the view to actually look up at the sky like in future games but it is cool that you at least get to see the reflection in the pond during the harvest moon and now let's go see what this uh moon that tortimer gave us is we can set it down here somewhere um there we go it just says moon all it says is moon what the heck Wow, yeah, literally is the moon. Does it, it's trying to see if it turns like in future games. It does seem like it's moving, but very, very slowly. Can I turn it myself? I can, yeah. I can turn it to see the different angles of it. Yeah, and it is spinning. That's really cool that Tortimer just gives us 
a replica of the moon that's even bigger than us. That's awesome. I think we will uh, keep that down here in the basement. I wish you could like light it up or something. Or I wonder if... Okay, I was gonna see. I wonder if I turned the lights off, if it would kind of emit a, a glowing. It doesn't, but that is okay. That's still really cool. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being patient as I figured out the whole Harvest Moon thing. Uh, I'll be back next Thursday with another episode. As always, leave me suggestions for uh, content to put in videos, different tips and tricks for the games, and or game singular things you'd like to see. We will check out that uh, balloon fight game that I got uh, next week for sure, but uh, feel free to suggest anything else you want to see. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye.